Hi, this is James from Copters, and I'll be going through here how to clean a point cloud in Cloud Compare. Cloud Compare is a really great software which is available to download free of charge from their website. So this is a laser scan data set which we've imported into Cloud Compare just by dropping the data in. And first of all, what I'm going to do is use the cropping tool to work on a small section of scan data. Now, the cropping tool is really good as well, that you can actually clean and trim your large data sets and get rid of any excess data you don't require. So I've just shortened down this data set into a small manageable area. And you can see it's very noisy in terms of people walking around. So the first thing I'm going to do is use the CSF filter. And this will basically run an algorithm on it to remove people on the top of the surface and create them into a separate layer called off-ground points and on-ground points. So you can see if I toggle between the two data sets, that's divided them up into two different separate data sets. Now what I can do from here is I'll be using that same cropping tool I used at the start to remove any large areas of noise. And in this case, this is people. And then I can click the tick and remove them people. And then on the left-hand side, delete that section of the data to remove it fully from the software. I'm going to do it on this other sample here. This is really good for just removing large parts of noise in the data. And that's it. So now I'm just going through and deleting that again, and removing it, and then delete. So what I'm left now with is a data set which basically has an on and off where people have been removed and left with a ground layer. So you can see from this data set that there are still some inherent noise which you're going to get. So I'm going to highlight them too, merge them together, back into the one data set, and just work on the one scan data. Then I'm going to go to the virtual broom, which I'm going to use just to take this last bit of noise out. So I click on the virtual pool tool, I reposition two points on the data set. This creates our virtual broom area. I can toggle this, I can make it bigger, I can make it larger. And I'm just going to click on the broom now and slowly move it along that data set. Now you can see the parts in red. This is the area which is going to be deleted and removed from the point cloud. So I can keep doing this through the whole data set. Once I'm happy, I can apply that. You can see it's removed them people from the data set. And I can keep doing this on numerous times, repositioning that broom as and when required. Once I'm happy with that, I can then click on the validation tool. There we go, final bit. So you can imagine you can do very long linear strips of this, removing people very easily, very quick, very efficiently. And then when I've done all that, I can click the validation tool and that will then take it from the main data set. You can undo it a few times and go back a few steps if you made a mistake by clicking undo or the last 10 steps. Apply. That's it, so we now have a reasonably clean data set which we can now validate. And hey presto, nice clean data set of a street scene. So as you can see here, we're going to export this as an E57 format. From the list below, you can see that there's a whole host of universal point cloud formats, which you can export directly from Cloud Compare, including LAS and LAS format. Once exported, you're free to import that data set into any third party software. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any further questions, then please don't hesitate in contacting myself.